Hello guys, welcome back to another video, and today is going to be the last episode of Road to Rank 1 for September 2023, and if my voice sounds different, that's because I'm trying out my marginally higher quality mic, uh, it is no longer this thing, so the sound quality should be better, but it's also very, very sensitive, so you, you might pick up the noise of me uh, clacking on the keyboard or moving around my desk or something, so hopefully it's not too bad and let me know which one you prefer, but anyways, we're going to get it straight into it. Because, as you see, we are actually currently rank 1. Um, and at the time of recording, there is 11 minutes left in season. And I am queuing now. Um, because, and make sure I select the right deck, make sure I select uh, ranked. I am queuing now, because according to my statistics, I need two games. Um, I need to win two games to have an 85% win rate. Um... Which, honestly, I kind of prefer to have more than first at this point. Like, I've had first a lot, but I don't think I've ever had an 85% win rate. At least not within the time period where they've shown end-of-season win rates. So that's why I'm queuing up now. Um, and with, like, 10 minutes, 12 minutes left, like, if things go really, really badly, there should be enough time to um, try to slow things down and, um, you know, chill out. But first up, we have Japan... We're gonna... I'm keeping Martyrs, like, honestly, not terrible. Um, it's bad if he double trades out. Um, maybe I should have waited to see him mulligan first. Um, do I ever not push? Kind of gets punished by Type 94. Okay, we're gonna push. Um, my idea with the Martyr is hopefully I can draw with Martyr on 3. Since these units have 0 op cost, I'm hoping I can trade out on 3. However, that requires him not to just trade out twice on his turns. Um, do I ever... No, I'm gonna double push. I, it's unlikely that he has a double blitz. Like, there's, what, seven? Yeah, there's seven blitz cards in the deck, and he's played one already. So it's not super likely he'll have two. Ooh. That's rather unfortunate. So the Martyr's coming out here. 100%. Um, If I go face and he has Shenanda, we lose the game. If I double trade and he has Audacity, we'll probably lose the game. I think we go face. Um, there's a possibility, like, I think Shenano is slightly more likely that he has it. However, um, on the flip side, if he does have it, there's a higher possibility that it doesn't immediately win him the game. Um, oh, that's a straight nasty draw. Do I rather have a 2-3 war below 2 units? Like, do I want to make this trade or this trade? Um, like, if he had Audacity, or sorry, if he had Shenano, he played it 100% of the time before. So I think I'd rather have 2 units. Ah, oh, if only. Um, this way there's... Like, if he, like he does, there's one more target. Um, makes it harder for him to, like, have Type 93 Cavalry Bicycle Expansion or Type 93 Cavalry 35T to trade out Mart or something like that. Um, bombing raid's pretty good. I mean, we just slam Sheedon, I feel like. Just a couple punishes. Well, sorry, not really. Like, a worst case scenario, double Type. 94, but then he can't even... Like, Sendai or Type 94 is either way he can't attack. It's odd. The Punish is Audacity. He win the 50-50 to hit Sheedon. Um, which, like, you know, if he has, good for him. Interesting. I feel like my hand is good enough that I'm willing to go face here. I think if he has Audacity, he plays it last turn and just goes for the 50 50. Um, 
if he has send dive, we have uh, ways of getting the Shiden back. Uh, dive 94, that requires two of them. Even if he has the audacity, like, we have 35p send dive of our own, we can pin something. Um, I think just, and especially because, again, I want to get wins quick because it is now 7.52. Um, okay. If he has a 35t, he can uh, kill it. Push up. Expansion. He needs type 94 to pin. Um, but even if he gets that, and that's game over. Okay, we got one win. Uh, the other thing about going for the wins is if 66 better does try to snipe first place from me. Um, then, well, we we're just gonna get, oh my goodness, um, that was a, that was a plus eight. Who was that? Um, just gonna go down, that was Chloe, oh, it's the person in 39, oof, they tried, they tried, I'm sorry, um, but let's, uh, just get into the next game, all right, here we are against Soviets, um, we have to mulligan relatively quickly, because Soviets might take a while, and yeah, we'll keep 35T. Um, Soviets might take a while, and we now have under six minutes. Um, here, I'm going to time.com. Um, yeah, we'll play Yokosuka. If he sickles this, it plays off curve if he's credit denial, and we have IG on two if he does sickle it. He passes. Um, well, normally I would probably go for the Aichi. We are going to try to play this slightly more aggressively. Because, again, if it is some sort of Soviet control, the game's going to take a while. Um, however, it also means that he can't kill me quickly. Oh, that's quite good. Um... Yeah, this lets him, uh confusion again. He's clearly some kind of control. Um, hopefully he's not Britain control. That would suck a lot, because supply shortage here. Although if he's supply shortage, I just, you know, and then I can expansion draw probably. And he's kind of low on health. Fifth Rangers. Okay. Um. Interesting. So that needs to die. Here, let's just do this. Um, this way, if he does have 39th to take Aichi, we can just hit the Aichi to pin it. Uh, we also have the bombing raid follow up soon. Yeah, I, I take two damage. Um, okay. So again, the wait no time.com is time.com is not it. Time.com is for the magazine. Um, time.is. There we go. Do I want to push Warble or not? I feel like not. I don't think he's gonna have an air unit. Um, I think it's. Well, maybe I could push Warble, because now we can 39th, but he can't really do anything with the 39th after, because I have a 2-attack Dina, and this loses the attack from the Type 93. Um, it is 757, so we have... Oh, that is bad. That is very bad. Um, okay. So what if I just a bunch of guys into it and go face. Um, so we have two minutes and 20 seconds to end this game. Um, and considering that he can spend up to a minute not like on his turn. Oh, that's very bad. Draw last. Um, we're three off lethal. Or two off lethal. We're one off lethal. Um, type 94 might be lethal here. Because this is pinned. Type 94. Um, no, I don't have lethal here. I, I need to draw it off the first expansion. Um, we have uh, less than two minutes now. 
Uh, 58-30. Please just surrender. 39th on Aichi. He's still dead on board. We have Sendai to get through guard. We have... Um... Okay, this is still lethal. And less than a minute to go. Let's get it. 85% win rate. Okay, we got it, and that guarantees first. That guarantees rank one. Um, what's our final score here? 30-30. This is the highest ELO since... Um, the highest ELO since July 2022. So, um, highest ELO in over a year. We got the 85% win rate. That might not be what they show um, on the qualifiers, or not the, like the OCC tournament stat sheet. We'll have to see if it's still 85 on there. Because by the way I got 85 is I've kept track of all of my games on ladder um, from hitting Field Marshal. I did not keep track of my games in Field Marshal. Um, I am estimating at what I remember them to be. I could be wrong about that. So we could still be just off 85. But either way, I think it's guaranteed at least 84, which is still a record. The highest ever win rate um, since they started looking at monthly win rates was 83.7, which is my record. Um, so the fact that we've kind of blown that out of the water is something I'm really happy about. And now, yep, season is over. Um, actually... Is it over? Yeah, it ended four seconds ago. So let's restart the game, see what our goal to lead is, and then uh, I will end off the video. But that is, I'm, I'm very happy um, that we got it. And I know, I, I know the joke that's been going around is, oh, oh, I said I wouldn't go for rank one, but you know, 85% win rate. Like, this was not like a, a 70, 70, percent win rate where I have to play like 400 games. Um, this was just a solid 85% win rate. Straight to the top. Had a lot of fun. And Gold Kika. Um, that's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, that's a cool one to have. And I mean, we got four packs. There's nothing in those packs. And I don't think I'm uh, close enough to open a crate. Maybe if I get a couple of leads. Um, but yeah. Uh, Thank you very much for watching. If you made it this far into the video um, and this far into the series, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and in the comments, let me know what gold elite uh, or gold card you got if you're not field marshal. Uh, let me know what you got in your season uh, rewards. And uh, I will catch you in the next one. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. What a performance there by J King. J King, full plot armor. J King is pushing himself into the ranks of the legend. J King is our world champion. J King 7. What? The back to back cards world champion.